If you profess faith in Christ, I strongly, strongly urge you to be as active in a local congregation as you are able. Because the reality is the majority of people who profess faith in Christ are not active in a local congregation. And, and it shouldn't be that way. But I have to confess, I was once that person. There was a time in my life when I professed faith in Christ, but I was not as active in a local congregation as I should have been. I had kind of a pattern. I would go pretty much every Sunday for about six months. And then I would miss a Sunday or two. And before you know it, I had missed several months. The Holy Spirit would convict me. I would go back, be active again faithful for about six months. I had missed two or three Sundays. Before you know it, I had missed several months again. And that, that went on for a long time. And every time the Holy Spirit convicted me. And then finally, one time the Holy Spirit's convicting me about, you know, had become inactive again. And I said, okay, God, I'm going to be as active in a local congregation, as active as I am, am able. And, and that was one of the best decisions I have ever made. So it's important that we are active in a local congregation. And someone might ask, why? Why is it so important if I profess faith in Christ to be active in a local congregation? Well, we need to remember that the Bible is God's revelation for us. It's really the primary way that God speaks to us. And we know from the Bible that it's God's will for us to gather as a congregation, as, as, a, as an assembly, as a church. Uh, Psalm 150 verse 1 tells us to praise God in the sanctuary. Notice it says in the sanctuary. The sanctuary is a building or a place set aside and dedicated for public worship. So God wants us to gather as a congregation. Now I posted that once on social media and one of my friends said, well, that's Old Testament. Well, it is Old Testament, but the Old Testament's God's revelation to us, uh, just as the New Testament is, and that's reaffirmed in the New Testament. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, it says, don't stop meeting together with other believers, which some people have gotten into the habit of doing. So we're told, don't, don't get out of the habit of assembling together. And, and so the Bible teaches by command and it teaches by example. So when we look at the book of Acts, we see the New Testament church, the early church in action, and they gathered, they assembled on the first day of the week, on the weekly anniversary of the resurrection, and they gathered with a purpose in mind. They gathered uh, to praise God. They gathered to pray. They continued in the, the teachings of the apostles, which were the teachings of Christ. So they were being equipped to, to do the work of God. They would, would minister to each other. They would experience the sacraments of, of baptism and, and Holy Communion. And most importantly, they were making new disciples. They were leading people to Christ. People were experiencing salvation and being added to the church. So they were making new disciples and they were making stronger disciples. So I urge you to be as active in a local church as you are able. You know, if you profess faith in Christ, you need to assemble as often as you can. Now, I know as we get older and our health, our health begins to fail, we may not be able. But as long as we are able, we need to be active in a local congregation. We need to assemble with the saints. And, and that will strengthen us. It will make us stronger, better disciples. And it will equip us to do the work of the kingdom of God. It will equip us to face the challenges that come our way. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Subscribe and leave a comment down below.